Hello, I'm Marie from tospeaktous.com and I want to talk to you about height, weight, and temperature. So this is important if you need to go visit the doctor or you need to talk to the pharmacist about medication or sickness, okay? So the hard part is the American English conversion. So if we're talking about height, we need feet and inches. If we're talking about weight, we need pounds. And if we're talking about temperature, we need Fahrenheit degrees, okay? So let me see if I can give you some tricks or some ways to remember this because this was very difficult for me when I moved to Canada. In Canada, we don't use the American English system. We use the metric system. So I needed to make the opposite conversion in my mind. So let's see if we can try to simplify this for you. First of all, the inch is about this big. This is about an inch. Foot, this is about a foot. So how many inches are in a foot? About 12. There are 12 inches and I said about, but there are exactly 12 inches in a foot. 12 inches in a foot. Next is pounds. Pounds can be abbreviated L-B-S, pounds, and the last one would be degrees. Okay, specifically, why do you need this? The question is, how tall are you? How tall are you? Be careful, not how many inches do you have? No, how tall are you? That will be the question. You can answer this several different ways. So probably you're thinking centimeters. So if I say, I am 173 centimeters, how do I say 173 centimeters in feet, inches? I can say I am, not I have, I am, I am five foot eight inches tall. I am five foot eight inches tall. I can also say I am five feet eight inches tall. They're both acceptable. Five feet eight inches tall or five foot eight inches tall. They're both used, but normally we make it even shorter. Okay, I can say I'm five foot eight. Five foot eight. So foot is the the feet, obviously, and eight, I don't need to say inches, I can drop it, five foot eight. I can make it even smaller. I can say, I'm five eight, I'm five eight. So everybody knows five is for the feet, eight is for the inches, okay? So I wrote down some of the conversions for you. Here we go. Five foot three inches is 160 centimeters. So I would say I'm five foot three. I'm five foot three. 165. So I went up by five centimeters, goes up by two inches. Okay. So if you just remember 160 centimeters is five foot three, that's the one you start with. If you start with five foot three, go up two inches and you go up by five in the centimeters. Probably make more sense if you look at the numbers, but it's to help you just be able to remember this without having to Google it or look it up. <laughs> All right, so if I'm five foot five, I'm 165 centimeters. Five foot five, how tall are you? I'm five foot five. That's 165 centimeters. How tall are you? I'm five seven. I left off the foot. I left out the inches, but everybody knows it's five for the feet, seven for the inches. 170 centimeters, five foot seven. How tall are you? Five foot nine. Five foot nine, 175 centimeters. How tall are you? I'm 5'11. No feet, no inches. 5'11. That's equal to 180 centimeters. Next, how tall are you? Uh, 6'1". Six 6'1". One. Six one. That's 185 centimeters. Last one. How tall are you? I'm 5 foot 3 inches. I'm 5 foot 3 inches. That would be 190 centimeters. 
Okay, so go back through and check it. First of all, find yours, whatever you are. Get as close as you can to your height and then practice. How tall are you? I'm, I'm, I'm five foot eight. I'm five eight. There are all different kinds of varieties that you can use. Okay, let's go to the weight. So you'll also probably for the dosage of the medication sometimes need to be able to give your weight. And if you just double it, you're usually going to be pretty close for weight because 2.2 pounds is one kilogram. 2.2 pounds, one kilogram. So as you get larger, that 0.2 is going to make a bigger difference. So if we're talking about meat in the grocery store, it's not a problem. You can just double it and you're going to be pretty close. But if you go up to 50 kilograms, now we have an extra 10 pounds. Okay, so 110 pounds equals 50 kilograms. So I'm thinking in my mind 50 kilograms, double it, and add 10. Okay? So if you're talking about your body weight, 60 kilograms is 132 pounds. 60 kilograms, 132 pounds. 70 kilograms, 154 pounds, 154 pounds. 80 kilograms, 176 pounds, 100 kilograms, 220 pounds. Now notice, at 100, I, had, I added an extra 10 pounds, but at when I went from 50 kilograms to 100 pounds, I add 10 pounds. But at 100 kilograms, now I'm at 200 pounds because it's almost double, but I add 20. So the larger the amount, the larger that 0.2 is going to make a difference. Okay, and the last one, 110 kilograms is 242 pounds. Okay, so how do we say it, right? We usually say, how much do you weigh? How much do you weigh? This is the most common, this is the best way, this is what we usually hear. How much do you weigh? You could also ask, what's your weight? What's your weight? Now, this is more formal, it's usually in a doctor, doctor's office, when they're asking you for the, the exact number, what's your weight? Do you know your weight? Yes, I weigh, I weigh 122 pounds or I weigh 55 kilograms. I weigh how many pounds? 122 pounds. Okay, the last thing I'm gonna talk about is the normal body temperature because this could come in handy. Normal body temperature in Fahrenheit degrees. 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit equals 37 degrees Celsius. So 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. You say, great, at what point do I need to call the doctor? Or at what point am I considered sick? 101 degrees Fahrenheit is considered a high temperature. And then you can consult a doctor. Talk to the doctor, talk to the pharmacist, 101 degrees Fahrenheit equals 38 degrees Celsius. Okay, so this was a little bit more technical than what we usually talk about, but it's so useful and you will be so happy if you need to go to the doctor in the States because they, unless, uh, they will not make the conversion for you. Uh, you'll either have to have a phone or um, figure it out, but hopefully you will remember it. Find out your specific one. And students ask me, how do I remember this? Um, sometimes I just try to find a place that I need to enter a number often, and then I just write those numbers in. Could be your iPhone passcode or something like that. Could be fun. All right, I have other videos um, that you can look for. If you look in the search box in YouTube, you can just search for to speaktous.com. There are other types of videos. Some are pronunciation, some are for vocabulary, or even topics and subjects like this one. And again, thanks for watching.